60 seconds. Gordy is getting interference from that light rock station again. Could you look into that? Sure. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Raul. Congratulations on successfully installing the game, you techno geek wizard, you. How many people do we have playing today? Flying solo. Great. Put your tray up, strap yourself in, and type in your name. It's Order today! I voted. Oh yeah, hey, I also need to know if you want a 7 question game or a 21 question game. Thanks! 30 seconds! Player, you're gonna wanna buzz in on the letter B. That's B as in baffle. Oh, I got new rear projection unit right here. 20 seconds. We got 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Um, alright, listen. This couldn't be any simpler. Question comes on the screen. You think you know the answer, you buzz in. You pick one of the choices on the screen. Easy. You got it? Ten seconds. Nine. Eight, eight, okay, get the desktop seven, out of here. Six. Five, take it to black. Four, four, here we go. Three. Arthur Daniels Hartland. If we told you who we are, we'd have to kill you. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Welcome, welcome. Hi, hello. This is You Don't Know Jack. I'm Cookie, and you're pathetic. Playing by yourself? Go read a book. Oh, all right, whatever. Ah, the game of solitaire. That's okay. I'm here alone, too. So let's get it on. Okay, pick a category. And I believe this one's called Sucker, I don't even know her. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Okay, pay close attention to the following audio file. Here's a few words from famous showman P.T. Barnum at the circus. There's a sucker born every... <laughs> What's the correct word that completes P.T. Barnum's quote? Second, moment, minute, or fourth? Barnum said there's a sucker born every minute. And of course, that was before the days of fertility drugs. All right, hit me. Here we have learning to walk erect. You get this one right and it's $3,000. Think fast. If Lucy, the fossil often considered the link between modern humans and the first bipeds, resembled the famous Lucy she's named after, what might she look like? Guitar-shaped body with hunched shoulders, kaleidoscope eyes under a sloping forehead, peanut-sized girl with really long forearms, or madcap redhead with an extended jaw? Lucy, you got some splitting to do! In case you're wondering... Lucy the Australopithecus was named after a song playing on the radio at the time of the fossil's discovery. The song being Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, which totally explains why the Australopithecus was originally called the rocking horse person eating marshmallow pies. Okay, I need a category. For your enjoyment. It's not music, it's just noise. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Flex those fingers, cause here it comes. If you apply the pH scale to your radio, what type of music would send it to zero? Heavy metal, acid rock, light jazz, or deep house? The pH scale measures acidity, so acid rock would rate as zero, or strongly acid. Category, please. You can't stop at three. No, you gotta have four. Yeah. This little number's known as things to do in Denver when you're a folk singer. Looks like this one's going for a thousand bucks. Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. 
If while playing a gig in the Mile High City, mellow feel-good country singer John Denver were given the Denver boot, what would he need to do? Thank his rescuers, refrain from sitting for a few days, bum a ride home after the gig, or chow down on the ham and peppers. Uh, could we have the check, please? Let's take a look at the right answer. The Denver boot is a lock put onto a car's tire that prevents it from moving. It's usually put on when the driver has too many traffic violations. Maybe John can entice one of his fans to give him a lift back to the motel by offering them a Rocky Mountain High. I need a category. Let's blow this time and head for number five. Pucker up for this question makes wide right turns and you're playing for three thousand dollars cash money Hey, it's moving day and you're moving to Burma If you try to rent a trailer from the ooh hall you find in the Burma phone book Who might end up helping you with your move are you an ambassador a priest a martial arts student or some guy named Hall? Here's what you should have picked. In Burma, the word you is used as a salutation of respect before a man's name, so ooh hall would be some guy named Hall. After he's done helping you move, you can take him to one of those all ooh can eat places. He'll dig that. Okay, I need a category. The selection is, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, flex those fingers and get ready for a typing test. From left to right on the top row, what are the first six letters on a standard keyboard? Go for it, type in your answer. Quarty from the first six letters is the nickname for a standard keyboard. Come on, you can tell me. Did you look? Okay, pick a category. Uh-oh, blah, 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 blah. It's time for a triple SMS fun. Your gibberish category for today is Obscure Swedish Torture Methods. Let's get the ball rolling at 5K for this gibberish question. Now check it out. As the time disappears, so does the money. So the sooner you buzz in, the better. Okay, get ready to hit your buzzers and type for me. Now tell me, what phrase does this rhyme with? Use the suede glove, you fig mad all. And don't let any of that punctuation fool you. Make your move, type your in- uh. Well, to answer the little pig's question, I think it would be anybody who could double as a bacon sandwich. Category, please. May I introduce... Hey! No praying in the mosh pit! $2,000 says you don't know this one. Put your tray in the upright position, it's time for takeoff. Say a group of Tibetan monks attend a Yanni concert. Instead of chanting, Yanni, Yanni, like the other fans, they yell, Yoni, Yoni. What are they saying? Stop, stop, vulva, vulva, life, life, or hair, hair. For the curious, here's the right answer. <laughs> In Tibetan and Indian religion, the yoni is a symbol for the external female genitalia. I hear that the monks didn't have any panties to throw at Yanni because they don't wear anything under those robes. I need a category. Aloha, question number nine. 
This category is known as... Bah! And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Uh-oh, this looks like a job for Superman. Lex Luthor has succeeded in combining Clark Kent's home metropolis with its surrounding cities. Which new name best describes this heavily populated teeming urban area? Megacropolis, Megalopolis, Megalomania, or Megala Gorilla? Should have picked this. When all cities blend into one, it's called a megalopolis. Looks like Superman should have bought that property in Gotham City after all. All right, hit me. Nice choice, lover. You've just been invited to a three-way. Okay, listen up. This is pretty simple. You're gonna see a three-way like this one. Buzz in when the correct three-way member is lit up and you score. But be wary, it'll cost you a thousand every time you buzz in and you're wrong. And be careful, individual answers don't necessarily have anything to do with the three-way as a group. Okay, let's get down and dirty. This little three-way likes to call itself, where the kisses are hers and hers and his. Which means there's gonna be a lot of wacky misunderstandings surrounding this three-way. Jack, Janet, or Chrissy. Time to start seeing the goods. Let's hope you're up to it. Oh, yes! Hey! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Okay, that's all she wrote. Hmm, I wonder how you did. Wow, I'm just speechless. Uh, you're the best I've ever had, I swear. Uh, while I regain my composure, let's check out your overall score. So, is it as good for you as it was for me? Probably better. Okay, let's get on with the game. Okay, we're halfway home. Let's see how round two treats you. Every question in round two is worth twice as much, so we got some serious cash at stake here. Let's get to it. Okay, pick a category. Don't look now! Don't look now! It's question 11! And this one is... You'll laugh, you'll cry! How does $2,000 sound? Just step up and take a swing at this one. Let's say you're watching a performance of Swan Lake when suddenly one of the swan dancers breaks into a swan song. According to the expression, what is she about to do? Drop dead, go into heat, kill her enemies, or give birth? <laughs> kill her enemies? Uh, that might be Genghis Khan Lake. <laughs> hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. The expression swan song means a farewell because according to legend, swans are supposed to sing when they die. She's probably dying from hunger. You ever seen them? Ballerinas so thin and they smoke so much too. What a shame. Okay, I need a category. I'm getting a rating of 12. Now serving superheroes who foam at the mouth. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. You ready? Okay, let's say that Underdog hasn't been very careful lately and he's contracted rabies. Given the symptoms of rabies, which of these situations would most likely leave Underdog incapable of rescuing Sweet Polly Purebred? She's hanging from a high ledge, she's trapped in a burning building, she's drowning in a pond, or she's surrounded by carnivorous spiders. See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. 
Another name for rabies is hydrophobia, which literally means the fear of water. So poor Polly would probably end up sinking like a stone. I guess that means Underdog won't be drinking out of the toilet anymore either. I need a category. This one's called Balls, Balls, Balls. How does $4,000 grab you? Oh, man, I need some help here. I can't remember the name of this sports team. Damn. Hey, if, if you can think of it, buzz in and type in the answer, capiche? All right, it's a basketball team. Uh, Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain was on it. You know, they've been all over the world. <clears throat> kind of like Wilt. Oh, yeah, Meadowlark Lemon is another player from the team. All right, type in your answer. The Harlem Globetrotters are a basketball team. Wilt Chamberlain is an alum, and so is Meadowlark Lemon. All I gotta say about the Harlem Globetrotters, and I'm, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure they fixed a few of those games. Category, please. Now, this is what I like to see. A player taking a chance because you just picked an impossible question. The category? How many hair pieces will that buy? And let's see, this one's only worth uh, $20,000. All right, get ready, because here comes the impossible question. Now, trust me, you're lucky to be getting one in four odds on this one. Assuming that the total gross income, including video rentals, was adjusted for inflation, how much money of the movie Smokey and the Bandit made at the box office as of 1993? $140,878,200? $164,542,300? $186,752,100? Or $290,034,000? The correct answer is... <laughs> Smokey and the Bandit had made $140,878,200 in adjusted income by 1993. Lonnie Anderson's purse spilleth over. Alright, hit me. I got some good news for you. You're about to move into a dis or dat. And this dis or dat question's category is... Wait, this isn't spaghetti, it's worms! Okay, for each of these seven words, you tell me, is it a type of pasta or parasite? Now, if it's a tasty pasta, press 1. If it's a parasite, press 2. And to skip, press 4. You get $1,000 for each right answer, and 1000 taken away for each incorrect answer in any that you don't get to. All right, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Let's dance. Macaroni, pasta, or Rotini. Trigonella. Linguini. Spirochete. Salmonella. Last one, lasagna. That's all she wrote. Uh, hello, 7 out of 7. Let's throw that into your total. Well, that does wonders for your total. Let's see what's coming up. Okay, I need a category. Shake hands with reasons not to buy a watch from the guy in a raincoat. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. Put it in gear, cause here we go. If the watches and artist Salvador Dali's persistence of memory were to be promoted in a commercial, what tagline would be most appropriate? Takes a punching and keeps on munching, takes a belting and keeps on melting, takes a cleaning and keeps on screaming, or takes a whacking and keeps on quacking. The clocks and Dali's persistence of memory all appear to be melting.
To which I say, hey Dolly, keep your swatch away from the heater. Okay, pick a category. On the big bayou in Louisiana, quest on 17. This one likes to go by, is it getting hot in here for a thousand big ones for a right answer here? So, you've heard that the story about the Great Chicago Fire being started by Mrs. O'Leary's cow is a myth, right? Sorry to break the news to you if you didn't know. Well, imagine the Great Chicago Fire had been started by Mr. O'Leary's Cowper's Gland. What was Mr. O'Leary most likely doing when the fire started? Philosophizing, master defecating, or regurgitating? Take it! Regurgitating. Huh, that answer's come up a few times. <laughs> Ain't life gland. <laughs> the Cowper's gland releases a small bit of fluid from the penis <laughs> before ejaculation during either intercourse or mass <laughs> And they think they're gonna need a bigger hose than that to put out the fire. <laughs> Category, please. Open wide and get ready for... I got rhythm, but I still feel all wobbly. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Okay, now, remember that song, I Got Rhythm? If you sing, I Got the Rhythm Method, what would be the best lyric to follow, I Got Rhythm? I got control of my contractions, I got multiple orgasms, I got birth control using my calendar, or I got Phil Collins. The rhythm method is avoiding pregnancy by calculating when a woman is or is not ovulating. Who could ask for anything more? I need a category. Okay, give it up for... Did you just hear a satyr? Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. Let's rock. If Zamfir, master of the pan flute, were to record a version of the magic flute, which composer would probably roll over in his grave? Beethoven, Copland, Verdi, or Mozart? <laughs> Bet you wish you'd pick this. The Magic Flute is one of Mozart's operas, and Zamfir is one of Mozart's worst nightmares. All right, hit me. Coming at you. Grow up. Get a right answer. You're walking away with four grand. Uh, let's see if you can wrap your head around this. If you spent the rest of your life stuck in the first of Freud's psychosexual developmental stages, over which of the following would you constantly be obsessing? Lollipops, toilet tissue, peekaboo, or your mother? According to Freud, the first stage in our psychosexual development is the oral stage. Anyone got a toothpick? Or some floss? Or even a pacifier? Okay, I need a category. The attack is now in session. If you see two words that go together on the screen, buzz in and you've got 2,000 bucks. Hit your buzzer when they don't go together. You can kiss 2,000 bucks goodbye. Here's the fun part. Remember the clue. The words only match if they fit this clue. Who is the band coming down your block? Not to mention the jack attack coming into your living room. Good luck.
like a finely tuned instrument. Take a look at your final score. That's the game. Player, I couldn't have done a better job myself. But then, I wasn't playing by myself, was I? But seriously, player, and I don't say this to just everybody. You don't know Jack! Great show, everybody. Lovely work as usual. Raul Hun, what's going on now? Hey, White Football, you're ahead. You just keep playing. We'll get that list filled up in no time. Let me know if you want to play again. how many episodes of Police Squad there were. I am not a teacher. I cannot educate the youth of America. I like the word dick sizzle. This really isn't a commercial. It's just me talking about myself. Did I use the dick sizzle thing already? I am not a hero. Does your house smell like ass? Find out what you can do tonight. Hey, it's me. I just wanted to say hello. Had Not another boring voicemail me message. Bye. Hold the phone! Before you delete that unwanted voicemail, think about those unfortunate people who never get any calls. Don't you think they'd want the message, even if you don't? Gee, I guess so. Then press 8 to donate. When you get a message you don't want, press 8. Your message will be forwarded to the mailbox of a fiber optic lonely heart. Uh, hey, this is Bill. I got your spreadsheet off the webpage, but I had some questions about the R&D headings. Uh, give me a call. Bill, I don't know what that meant, but you just made my day! They may not understand the random messages they get, but they'll sure feel more connected. And isn't that what technology is all about? You know, you're right. I'm gonna press 8 to donate. Hey, it's me. I just wanted to say hello. I hadn't talked to you in a while. Give me a call sometime. Bye. I love you, random voice! Press 8 to donate. Go ahead and touch someone with other people's fingers. You've seen the video of the alien autopsy and you say you still don't believe? Well, here's the video the government really doesn't want you to see. Alien, alien routine, routine checkup. checkup. Let's listen to the hearing test. Right, left, up, uh, right. You're probably asking yourself, is it real or is it faux? Would a fake doctor do this? Okay now, Mr. Alien, turn your head. Uh, doctor, off. those aren't my testicles. These are my testicles. Due to the graphic nature of this video, we recommend you don't watch it alone. Okay, now, Mr. Alien, I need you to bend. I wouldn't over. do that, Doctor. Oh, I, I tend to uh, clean oh up. Uh, Order before oh midnight tonight back. and get a free Bring bonus back. tape. Aliens, Aliens funniest, funniest home video. Oh, I should be able to sink this putt as long as I avoid the pond. Oh, help! You water ferns my scaly alien skin. <laughs> Wasn't that a riot? Order now before you come to your senses. Ouch. Do your thighs sweat and chafe when you walk? Yes. Eliminate chub rub forever with the new cellulite lubricant, Cellulube. It'll grease up your flabby spots. I used to be a supermodel, but now I sell embarrassing personal items. So, go buy it. Why suffer painful sores and blisters when you wear hot pants? Slide through with Cellulube. With Cellulube, my thighs don't stick together. I can even wear Daisy Dukes. Hey, I have jock itch. Get your own product, buddy. Wait. I'll walk with you. Ooh, your thighs are so slippery. Don't let Chub Rub ruin your social life. If you have thunder thighs, Ow. you need Cellulube. <laughs>